Where'd you get this? Found it in my locker. He's mine. I, I got him in like second grade. Well, stole him, actually. From who? This kid in my class. I took it from his bag. It was kind of messed up, actually. Because he, he said it was his dad's or something and that it meant the whole world to him. But I told the teacher it was mine and she believed me. Who was the kid, Alicia? Are you thinking that? He said that the name of the game was to figure out who he was. We thought the clues were to find you, but maybe they were to, maybe they were to find him. Before we even talk about your amazing show, we need to talk about this coordinated boot effort. Was this planned? <laughs> no, this didn't even happen. Not at all. We walked into the hotel lobby and we're like, look at this aesthetic. It just kind of happened. Yeah. We were all like, what are you wearing? And <laughs> I, I heard that it was all black and I was like, okay, that's good. We all at least have some kind of black. Yeah. So. Very, very on point. Yes, thank you. How did each of you become involved in this series, which is so insanely creepy and Thank you. just unsettling? Um, well, I, I got a, an audition through uh, my agent, and so it was an on-taped audition, and um, they said they liked me, and so I did a callback on tape as well, um, which was the first thing I've ever done, like a callback on tape. Well, I, maybe I've done one other. Um, but they seemed to really like me, and they were like, yeah, we would love to have you play Alicia. And I was freaking out, because, I mean, she's, she's a handful, which is so fun to play, for sure. <laughs> yes, I have a very similar story to Caitlin. Um, I auditioned for it, and I remember reading the script and just it resonating with me so much, and I wanted so badly to be a part of it. Um, but I felt so bad after my audition. I got in my car, and I just cried because I thought I did so poorly, but obviously that was not the case. And I got to work with wonderful like actors and women and writers. So, I mean, it's been an absolute joy. And what about you? Um, I've worked with Awesomeness on projects since, I mean, they started, but I auditioned for it and I got it and I, I was so lucky to get it because I mean, I when I first read the role of Haley, I fell in love and if I didn't get it, I was, yeah, after I finished my first audition, I went to my car, I was like, ah, did I do a good job? Like, no, like you never really know when you're done with an audition. But yeah, we're all really lucky to get these roles. And the subject of the series is so topical because it's about, I wanna say the dark side of social media. And I mean, that really is what it is. So in terms of the topic, you guys are all on social. What about it resonated with each of you? Um, I don't, I've never, I don't really pay attention to hate when it comes to social media, so I've never gotten too much into, uh, that dark. Um, but what does make me really happy with this series is because they're bringing up topics that I don't think are brought up necessarily with our teenagers today and the younger kids. I mean, we may talk about it with adults and stuff, but I don't think it's directly given to the kids, and I think with this kind of series, it's gonna be easier for them to see it and maybe take something from it. Which is be careful what you share, be careful yeah. what you post, be careful who you friend, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I feel like what resonated with me um, through it was I went to public high school and I remember um, hurtful things that people would do to each other and to myself on you know, MySpace and things that were just Oh, MySpace, oh, oh my God, MySpace. that takes us back. Absolutely, um, I can only imagine what it's like to be a teenager right now with the immediacy of everything. Um, and it is very much brushed under the rug that teenagers have issues and they have real genuine feelings. So it was super exciting to be able to explore this topic and um, I hope that it resonates with people the way it resonated with us. I agree. How much <laughs> did, you know, Aside uh, from the horror aspects of the show, how much did this mirror your own high school experiences? Oh gosh, I'm in high school right now. Um, I don't know. My, see, she resonates more with it, but um, 
I, I don't know. I guess my high school's weird. I'm in Georgia, so we're all Southern and kind of I do love, I love how when you talk about Georgia, your accent comes out. It does. No, you don't get it. I'll be like, Georgia, I'm from the South. Um, (laughs) I, but it is, to me, to be honest, it is one of the most realistic I've seen when it comes to portraying kids in high school. Like, I mean, you can look at the way they're, just the way they're dressed. Yeah, I would probably wear something like that. I dress, I dress like. It's not some lot. costume designer's version. Yeah, of, it's you know what it, high schoolers it, would it wear. It gets to what you know kids are really like. So I, I I love that. You're absolutely right. And the great thing about working with this production team with Hannah um, is that they wanted you to feel uncomfortable watching this because this is what teenagers are doing right now. This is very real and very present in that age demographic so we didn't want it to feel like these girls were put together by the end of the show by episode 11 none of us were wearing makeup and we were just we had bags under our eyes exhausted but they actually like if you can look they put makeup to put bag under my bags Mm -hmm. under my eyes for like the whole show like I was always having bags under my eyes because she's going through stuff we just wanted to tell a real authentic story so that must make shooting so easy when there's no makeup involved right like you roll in (laughs) at like 9 a.m. and you're shooting by like 9 20 it's so nice well you would think you would think the case (laughs) see but at the beginning they like had all this makeup and I would go in for five seconds they'd be like you're good well actually they had the braids they had like braids they had to put in my hair but usually they would just be like I would walk in and they would put the bags put a little mascara and then be like yep (laughs) <laughs> like, oh, okay. My character didn't have it easy. My character, it was all dolled up at the, yeah. in the beginning of the the series. But at the end, my hair is just like straight and no makeup. Yeah. It's awesome. What was production like on the show? I mean, did you guys have to go out at night just to kind of show? Well, not you. You're in high school. You're in high school, Missy. <laughs> but, uh, you're a baby. But what was it dark? Was it brooding or was it super fun? Both. I would definitely say both. The times that we had off and the cast was together along with some of the production team, it was incredibly enjoyable. Um, However, we did a lot of night shoots and we did a lot of night shoots in some very interesting, um, aggressive looking places. You can see in the show a burned down factory, an abandoned asylum, um, a sketchy hotel. It's, it was real and authentic to where we were filming and um, those moments definitely brought us more into the context of what we were doing, which was super helpful. Absolutely, I'm so thankful we filmed where we filmed. Um, but it was definitely both, because there were also times of joy and like all hanging out together, eating breakfast, um, and that's really rare, so it was exciting. Did you guys all bond right away? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember In the first well, few days. We, us three were out um, early, and so we did rehearsal and stuff, and it was, it was just so fun. Mm-hmm. All of it was. Now, what did each of you take away from this experience? Because this is really a unique project. And like I said, the story is so compelling. I mean, do we want to tell these guys what the story is? Sure. Um, the story is about three girls who get tagged in an online video of someone getting shot with a shotgun. And the person starts to come after them using very personal secrets that they have. And not only do you have this whole era of trying to get away from the social media and get away from this supposed killer, but also their relationships that are growing and also falling apart throughout the series. And so that's what we mean when we say heightened, but also conceivably, I mean, is this... Very conceivable, which makes it scarier. Yeah, I mean, I wonder like 10 years from now, is this what we're going to be doing, is trying to find killers amongst our friends by tracking who knows what about you. It's really creepy. Do you guys censor yourselves when you post? I absolutely do, but I'm not a very personable like poster. I usually put out um, what I'm doing, the things I'm working on. I like to keep the personal personal, um, and that's just because I want to protect and put my family first, and they didn't sign up for this. Yeah. So um, I'm so willing to be talking with people who are interested in my art and it resonates with them and I'm so excited about that and I'm so thankful for each and every one of them. However, um, there's my art and then there's me and you're not entitled to me. What about you guys? What do you mean by censor? I mean, when you, certain people that I've spoken to, Mm -hmm. actors, 
musicians, what have you, say that they'll write something in a draft, sit on it for 24 hours, and then go back in 24 hours and be like, okay, is this appropriate? You know, is this too personal? Is this a photo that someone wouldn't want to have up there? Oh. That type of thing. No. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not like I, I don't really take, like, crazy photos. They're usually just a picture of a sky, and then I put, like, an emoji of a sky. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't necessarily put too much thought in it. Um, but yeah, I i mean, I'm a kid, so it's not like I'm gonna be posting anything crazy. I don't know, I don't sit on it over 24 hours. It's just, all you have to do is put an emoji and then no one gets hurt. <laughs> I, I censor my stuff sometimes because I know I have a fan base of all ages and you know, you, you can't be tweeting like the F-bomb and all the time, even though I sometimes I wish I could, but I can't. Um, you have to, you know, be careful what you put online by your image, and I don't know. I have, like, little sisters, so. So just put thought into it, basically. Yeah. Is just try not to, like, mess up. <laughs> Leah, too badly. Oh, man. Try not to was, mess up. If it was that easy, right? None of us would, uh, you know, no, have issues. Yeah, know. Do you guys read any comments? I try not to. But, I mean, yeah. you, you find yourself just scrolling through the comments. You're like, eh, those people like me. That person doesn't. That hurts my feelings. Eh, I like that person. And it's just, it's not good for your ego whatsoever. I mean, the good comments and the bad comments. It's just, that's, it's not important to, like, go through that. Yeah, I certainly appreciate so much all the kind and loving comments and tweets that um, I get and that the show has been getting. Um, but, honestly, you can't dwell on it. Because one, that's, it sucks up so much of your time, and two, um, it starts to get in your mind, and that's not what we should be dwelling on. As just people in general, we should be creating and, and doing things of so much value instead of worrying about the things that other people are saying, because you're not always gonna resonate with everyone, and that's okay, because that's what art is about. Yeah, ditto. Just put an emoji on it. <laughs> so I, just, yeah. I love that philosophy. How did each of you get into acting? Um, I realized that I liked acting when I was around 10 years old, uh, and I was in uh, musical theater and plays and stuff in Virginia, and then my dad, who's in the Navy, got orders to San Diego, and I would, like, drive back and forth from L.A. to San Diego, and that's when I really you know, found my true love for it. I watched the movie The Parent Trap when I was four. Mm. Loved it so Come on, much, Lindsay and Lohan. That was, was so great. That was so great, right? And every time I watched it, I felt so much love and like comfort. And I realized that I wanted to make people feel like that. And at a young age, I didn't understand that I was thinking, I want to make art, genuine, authentic art that resonates with people. And I'm so thankful that I'm. I have the absolute privilege to do that. Um, I I started out with uh, more of singing and dancing, and so that was musical theater, and so I kind of had to learn how to act for that. Um, but I there was an on-screen acting class uh, at one of my um, theaters, and so I did that, and I was I was like, okay, I'll try it, because I did try one beforehand, and it went miserable, because they were doing cold reads, and I just, I did horrible, and I was like, never doing that again. <laughs> Um, but then I did this class, and I was like, ah, oh, this is actually, like, pretty nice. I actually like this. And then I just kept doing more and more and just completely fell in love with it. I, just, I couldn't be happier to be able to do what I love as a living. So. How do you balance going to high school and acting? Uh, <laughs> You're like, I'm still trying to figure it out? See, I'm kind of a big procrastinator, too, so this <laughs> doesn't really help. But um, I do I do go to public high school, so it's... It's pretty much like whenever I am working, it's like it's just like I'm sick a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of make up the work from the days that I missed. It's not it's not too bad. It's just a lot of doing makeup work. We were homework buddies on tag. Yes. <laughs> it was it was the two of us doing yeah. homework on our she office. Was, she was doing online college. Yeah. I'm getting time. my degree. So. Yeah. Oh my god. So <laughs> night classes? Night classes and a lot of online classes. Absolutely. Wow, what are you getting your degree in? Business. Nice. You can manage. You can be your own business manager. Girl, yeah, that's I want to. I'm gonna do. That's uh, awesome. 
I want to produce. <laughs> um, I love every aspect of cinema. I want to have my hand in everything. So the best way to do that is to understand the industry. And the best way to understand something is to educate yourself. That is the smart great. girl. Yeah. I know, I know. Well, because um, I wanted, I wanted to business. I wanted, uh, I wanted to major in business and hopefully minor in psychology. But I wanted to major in business mostly because I wanted, because when you're in this industry, you have to learn how to handle yourself as a business, like you, you as a person. You are your own business. brand. Yeah. So I have to like, I, I want to be able to understand everything and be able to understand um, just everything that can go on in that situation. And so I. I'm hoping that, you know, I can do that if I can go to college and do that, hopefully. And what about, what, what are your long-term goals? Um, well, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just doing what I love. I graduated high school early, and I've, I mean, I've always been terrible in school. I hated it. So I, I do not want to go to college. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. And, and, and these girls are so incredibly smart, and, and I'm sure you guys were good students. I was not. So I don't think I. She's working on an album. She has great long-term goals. Yeah, let me. I'm a yeah. I'm a singer too. So I'm working on an album. And there like, you go. And acting, but yeah, no school for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And now for our audience. Oh. oh cool. Hello, ladies. How are you guys doing? Good. Very well. Thank um, you for asking. And I'm liking all you guys' clothes right now. You know, you're looking uh, very fashionable. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess my question would be that. Uh, let's see, if you guys can uh, name, like, what your personal style would be, what would you say? Oh. See, I would say hobo chic, because I kind of dress like a hobo sometimes, I'm pretty sure. Not right now. No. But, like, southern hobo chic. Oh, please. A little bit. Seen, no, 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 no. If Other, you've seen southern style, I'm completely <laughs> Are there hobos in the south? What? Are there hobos in the south? Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I would say, I would say a girly kind of grunge. Um, I like flowy, flowery dresses, but I also like to change it up. I'm definitely not afraid to wear something out there. Um, but yeah, usually I'm just in like a pretty dress. Uh, I'm definitely, I would say, um, classic, edgy. I like classic traditional pieces, high necklines, um, long skirts, but everything I own is black. So Same. it's my power color. This is like my one color. I don't, I don't even <laughs> think I, I, I think I own one pair of black jeans and that's about it. I, I, <laughs> I own like black dress flowers. Three or four. Yeah. <laughs> Next Thank question, you for your question. Three, congratulations on the show. There seems to be a lot of girl power on the stage, so I'm very curious. Who are a couple of powerful female entertainers that you may look up to? Ooh, ooh, me, me, me. There are a lot. Um, I really look up to Lana Del Rey. I think she's amazing and so incredibly talented. Of course, like Beyonce and Lord. And um, who are some other like people I look up to? Um, no, you guys. Go. I I look up I to think. Meryl Streep. That woman. Yes. That woman. <laughs> I I mean, if I can get anywhere near to how her the, her there. career, her success, and just her mental state, if I could get anywhere near that, I would just be so happy. And she, she literally just, is like the coolest human being she ever. Is. Ever. I I like, just. You know how like like, like you, you can literally you can say she's actually the least disappointing person you can meet. Probably. That's so lovely to hear. Um, I would definitely say um, I really look up to women writers like Nancy DeMoss, strong women like um, Tatiana Maslany, mm -hmm. who really owns her show, and she's a producer, and she, she really works exceptionally hard and exceptionally well. Um, and, yeah, I mean, those two are the ones that come to head. Um, Meryl Streep sounds like a, a great person to look up to as well. Um, just people who are good people while also being great artists. And last question, please. Uh, hey, guys, girls. Uh, <laughs> are, um, how do you, uh, what do you guys do, like, when you're not acting? Do, like, do you, uh, how do you socialize with your friends, like, uh, that may not be famous? What friends? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> who are these people? Um, I don't know. It's, it is weird for me because... 
it, it, it is strange being in high school and then also doing all this work stuff on the side because I, I barely get to see my friends. I barely get to talk to them. Like, I'm horrible with texting back. And my friends will all agree with this. <laughs> and they you probably ghost hate people? me for it. What? You ghost people? What? Like when someone texts you? Yes. You yeah. yeah. It's yes, like, oh. that's me. Sorry. <laughs> I know that's like everyone's pet peeve, but like, um, I don't know. We, I, I have like a lot of chorus friends, and so it's usually during the school time because I've been working throughout all summer. It's usually during the school time where we just, we see each other and we have fun and we all love each other and it's just a good family. And it's nice. You know, you get to be a normal kid when you go to school. I usually out. Um, <laughs> I hit my thing, hit my and, 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 and stumble in my words. I hang out with my friends. I like to go to parties. Um, I like to go on adventures and hikes. And I don't know, I like to explore. And I love Los Angeles. There's so much to do there. And But usually I'm in the studio. I'm just writing. And yeah, but I love my friends. Um, to me, I see friendship as loving one another and serving one another. So the closest friends that I have um, aren't in the industry at all. They, um, they make me a better person. And they work hard on our friendship, people who are willing to work and willing to um, call you out on things that are not OK are the best type of friends, not only the ones that you can have fun with. So the friends that I have, I know I'm going to have for life. So I mean. It doesn't matter to me what they do because they're exceptional people and I just love being around them and learning from them. And when can we see this? When and where can we see well, this? It premiered see it today. Now. Yes. The, the first three episodes are out on Go90. And every Tuesday, another episode will air. So there's 11 in total. Go90, it's completely free. You don't have to be a Verizon user. Um, and it's also on Go90.com if you don't have a device. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you. The boots are on point. <laughs>